Hi boys and girls, my name is Mrs. Self, and I am a third grade teacher at Blackburn Elementary. Your teachers and I have been working really hard to help teach you while you're at home or at your apartment or wherever you're staying right now. We want you to know that we all miss you and we want to make sure that you keep learning while you're away. So a few things that we're going to work on for the next few weeks are fairy tales. So as you can see on the screen, there is a little bit of information about fairy tales that we are going to learn about today. We are going to listen to the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. But before we listen, there's a few things we want you to know. Something that every single fairy tale has. Now, sometimes fairy tales might not have all of this list, but they have quite a bit of it. So look on this screen right now. You can see that fairy tale elements, they happen normally a long time ago. And they might have magic or fantasy. You might even hear the word personification. That's when something that's not alive is talking. You'll see that today. There's good versus evil characters. Kind of this idea of who's good, who's evil, and who's going to win. There is this idea of conflict or resolution. That means a problem and a solution. Something's wrong and something has to be fixed. Normally, the fairy tales teaches us something something that we can learn to be better people in our lives. And then finally, you'll see this magical number three or seven come up quite a bit in our fairy tales. So today, you're gonna see that magical number come up. So this is your job right now. You're gonna pause this video and go click on the link and watch Goldilocks and the Three Bears. I'll be waiting here for you. Hey, welcome back. So hopefully you saw some of these elements in our story today. I bet you you can think of a few. What do you think? Maybe take a moment and write it down. One thing I thought of was magic. Remember that word personification? There was personification in the story. There were bears talking. That would definitely be a magical element. Can you think of another one? All right, something else I thought of was the number three, that magical number three. I'm gonna show you my notes over here now. If you look, here's all the things that happened in our story about elements. So there were talking bears. There was the idea of good versus evil too. This case, the bears were the good people. Goldilocks was kind of that evil or the character that made some mistakes. There was a problem. Goldilocks broke into their house. The resolution, she had to leave and she ended up kind of getting scared when they came back home. And then kind of our theme or our lesson that we can learn for our life is make sure you lock your doors, but also remembering what's just right for you might not be what's just right for them. So thinking about what do you need, and it might not be the same thing as what your friend needs, and that's okay. In this story, Goldilocks was trying to find that just right porch and that just right bed and that just right chair, um, but she ended up not quite finding exactly what was perfect for her because we're all different and that's what makes us all so special. So as we continue to learn together, we're going to learn a lot about different fairy tales, listen to different stories, and you're even going to have a chance to write your own fairy tale at the end. We'll see you tomorrow.